Hi everyone, welcome to the Robert Show. Today I'm excited to host Jitesh Kai, CEO of Highland, a company that's redefining how we think about context, automation, and intelligence in the enterprise space. Jitesh is not a new face to the Robert Show. We've uh, hosted him earlier and have had like uh, amazing insights. Uh, but today we are diving into Highland's latest platform, the Context Innovation Cloud, and a powerful concept you will hear a lot about agent take document uh processing adp obviously it is something uh i've been curious since a while i've been talking to a lot of enterprise leaders and they are excited too so uh i'll be you know obviously learning all about it from jitesh jitesh great to have you here welcome to the robert show again robert great uh, great being here great seeing you great connecting with you again and uh, uh thrilled to be here talking uh, talking shop about all things unstructured data and how to innovate with uh, enterprise content, uh, what you know, what we call unstructured data or enterprise content. Fantastic, Jitesh. Uh, I'm just going to jump right in it, uh, and you know, I'm I have a curious question, which is about what's driving the need for content innovation right now. What do you think? Yeah, you know, if you look at the ECM industry, enterprise content management, uh, it's an industry exclusively dedicated to helping. Uh, enterprises globally manage their unstructured data, their, mm -hmm. their documents, images, et cetera, uh, ensuring that they're persisted, versioned, governed, compliant, uh, and, uh, and used appropriately by the appropriate users in an organization. And that's what ECM has historically been. Mm -hmm. um, and equally, of course, as a persistent store for unstructured data, enterprise content, enabling searching and discovery and some amount of process automation leveraging unstructured documents. I think what has radically changed over the last few years is the technology now exists to do so much more with unstructured data. We all had our chat GPT moment in Q4 of 22 right. when uh, you know large language models and what they can do was really apparent to all of us. And it was at that moment when I realized, wow, you know what, uh, the final frontier in enterprise data is un unstructured data, is, is the enterprise content. And now we can unlock immense value from it. We can innovate with that content. We can empower organizations to innovate with that content and drive incredible value for their stakeholders, for their customers. That's what the content innovation cloud is about. And it's really about AI enabling the content that we Highland are custodians of. We are, we are the entrusted custodians of hundreds of petabytes of mission critical unstructured data. Mm. This is unstructured data for large enterprises globally, healthcare systems, insurers, banks, uh, state and local and federal governments, their most mission critical data is persisted, housed, governed by Highland. This is not data that Anthropic has. This is not data that Mistral has or Meta has or yep. pick or open AI, pick your favorite large language model uh, developer. They do not have access to this data. Highland does. And what we're really doing with the content innovation cloud is enabling our customers, our 14,000 strong customers globally wow. to AI enable their content. And in doing so, AI enable the workflows that are automating business processes with this content. That's the content innovation cloud. That's what uh, we at Highland are up to. I love it. Uh, one quick question that I have, uh, and these are fantastic insights, Jitesh. Uh, when you talk to obviously customers, and uh, obviously you all work with larger enterprises out there, do you also see a lot of challenges that Content Innovation Cloud is solving for them in terms of specific use case that comes to your mind? I don't want you to name any uh, customers, but then maybe anything that you kind of feel that, okay, here are a few things that we've been solving, and customers are super excited about it. Yeah, yeah, you know, I think uh, what customers are super excited about is they know that they have this mission critical content, right? Now they can Gen AI enable it. Now they can seamlessly not just search and discover the the loan documents mm. or the, the bank statements or 
the, the, the mortgage documents or the insurance claims, they can also ask questions of the document and get answers from the data, the content within the document. Yeah. That's yeah. all possible because A, we have all the mission critical content. B, we're Gen AI enabling it with our large language models that mm. have been fine tuned against enterprise content. And so now what we're enabled to do is historically all you were able to do was enable search and discovery through some rudimentary metadata tagging. Now, with large language models, we're able to give structure to documents. We're able to classify and okay. tell you that this is a pur purchase order, but we're able to go a step further and give it structure and tell you this is a purchase order, this is the table, and these are the line items of the various products in the table. This is the discount. This is the average selling price. So because we can give you the structure, which is now enriched metadata of the document, we can also now give you the actual data. So not only just doing search and discovery, but now you can drive analytics from your unstructured data. You can ask it questions and get actual answers. Yeah, oh, these are uh, fantastic insights. And you know, getting those actual answers is something what I know enterprise leaders used to feel a little bit uh, less confident about uh, a few years back but now things are kind of moving in that direction and highland is kind of making that possible too I, I wanted to you know take this opportunity to also shift gears towards uh, something which i'm kind of intrigued about is idp to adp as well and uh, what i mean is for our audience uh, you know adp is more around the agent document uh, pro processing uh, so I, I have a question around that what is First of all, agentic document processing and how is it different from traditional intelligent, you know, document processing, which is IDP? Uh, can you tell us a little more about that? Yeah, yeah, happy to. You know, it's uh, what do our customers rely on Highland for? It's everything I described, which is that yep. mission critical unstructured data that we're governing, persisting, and now we're Gen AI enabling it. That's what we call content intelligence. Mm. But over the last couple of decades, what we've also done, which is very unique to Highland, is we, we are highly specialized for specific industries. So we have a very large presence in healthcare, in insurance, mm -hmm. in banking, uh, in, in state and local and federal government, in higher education. So we have a very deep understanding of the business processes within these different industries. Right. And so what organ and you'll notice that all of these industries are highly regulated and they're very paper driven. They're very document intensive. Exactly. And so what over the years our customers have done is they are driving mission critical business processes mm. with these documents that are in our repositories, insurance claim approvals, loan approvals, mortgage approvals, um, patient onboarding into a hospital. Uh, patient referrals from a general practitioner to a specialist. Right. All our mission critical workflows that organizations operate on run also by Highland. So with that background, what are we doing now? Just like we're AI enabling the content to deliver content intelligence and drive analytics from unstructured data, something never possible below before but now is it, you know analytics was the domain of structured data yep. uh, my last life where i spent 14 years uh, in addition to that we're ai enabling processes these workflows these mission critical business processes and delivering what we call mm. process intelligence you combine the two and now you can really deliver enterprise agentic outcomes Everybody's mm. talking about AI agents, but they're really ta talking about AI agents that are performing rudimentary tasks. You know, sure. all the agents you hear about are task-based agents. They're scheduling your uh, hair appointment and putting it in, in, mm -hmm. in the calendar. You know, right. what we do because of our pedigree, our expertise in understanding mission critical business processes and running those workflows, is AI enabling these mission critical business processes. So as these documents are coming in, it could be uh, a patient X 
from their primary care physician saying, hey, patient X has a, um, a, 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 a skin concern. Let's mm. get that patient in front of a, a, a specialist, a dermatologist. What agentic document processing is doing where IDP stops is IDP simply tells you this is the this this is the classification of the document and yep. this is the structure and extracts relevant metadata from the document and presents and, and stops there and persists that. What right. we do is we take that metadata, we understand the data, we extract mm. the data and then take action. So in this example, the action, which is, uh, the action here would be to an agentic outcome of extracting the patient's name, extracting the physician's note, automatically routing it to the allergy department, integrating the the data within the allergy department EMR, ele electronic medical re record, health record system, and getting the appointment scheduled. This would have required several human interactions and handoffs within an existing healthcare provider. We are doing it through agentic document processing. Yeah. Similar use cases and patterns for document processing apply in insurance, in banking, you can imagine in higher education and in yep. student onboarding. That's agentic document processing. That's how we're leapfrogging the state of the art in the industry um, and, uh, and doing it with, uh, with novel content intelligence, a knowledge graph on top of unstructured data, which is 80% of an enterprise's data estate Nice. It talks about knowledge graphs for structured data with data catalogs. Exactly. Life. Nobody's been able to crack the code on unstructured data. That's exactly what we're doing to deliver the signal and from it, the agentic automation outcome as well. I love it. Uh, these are fantastic insights. I love the use case about, you know, the healthcare and I kind of feel, you know, because I talk to various industry enterprise leaders and sometimes I was talking to one of the CDO from a very big healthcare just two days back, as mentioned off air as well. And the challenge for them is they want 99, at least 99.99% accuracy when it comes to regulated industries as healthcare. And mm -hmm. if you're catering to those sort of industries, it kind of also becomes a very interesting use case that that's the level of accuracy you all want to, you know, go around because if you getting into a report if you are you know obviously extracting the data from a written report it it has to be that authentic that perfect uh, uh so that's that that was a good example that you shared uh, i'm kind of uh, also curious you mentioned about uh, two things content intelligence uh, lake and knowledge graph these are two very interesting topics uh, always for like knowledge graph i've been hearing so much and you're right it's uh, on structured data you've been kind of working around it and it's a little easier but doing it on unstructured uh, data is something i'm kind of curious about but what roles do they play in enabling autonomous decisions and actions what are your thoughts there Jitesh? yeah yeah i think i think the key there which is you know, as I mentioned, because we have large language models, because GPU price performance uh, is where right. it is and so accessible, uh, we are now able to do operations on unstructured data that were mm. never possible before. Yeah. You know, we, we spoke about, you know, knowledge graphs for the purposes of cataloging structured relational data store, uh, sources like ECMs, uh, sorry, uh, ERPs, ACMs, uh, CRMs, etc. Uh, but as I mentioned, 80% of an enterprise's data, 80 to 85% is unstructured data. And that wasn't possible before. And so really, we're bringing this concept of cataloging to unstructured data. Because right. we can derive enriched metadata from documents because we can derive the underlying data from those documents as well. And because we can AI, apply AI to it, we can now start right. building relationships from one document to other documents that wasn't possible before. Hmm. So we can relate the relationships between supplier contracts 
and the procurement of products from those suppliers to customer contracts that are consuming the specific products from specific suppliers. Now yeah. you've created relationships out of, you know, te terabytes of documents that were previously unrelated. Mm. And, and you've given through this knowledge graph, you've given content intelligent insight, that signal from which now you can drive agentic action yeah. because you know, which customers are consuming, which products from which suppliers you can now automate specific workflows and automate specific decisions in those workflows for agentic processing outcomes. That is very unique to Highland. We're the only ones doing it. Yep. And, uh, and that's because we've spent the last couple of decades perfecting our intellectual property around unstructured data. And we're accelerating that innovation uh, with multiple new services coming online this year. We've already got uh, four new services uh, uh, that have come nice. on this year and uh, many more cloud AI services coming in the second half. Yeah, can't wait. I'm super excited. I'll be obviously, uh, I'm planning to also do the community live event that you all have in August. I'll be attending that in person, obviously wanting to see all the innovations come to life uh, and the newer announcements as well. So I'll be capturing that. But uh, these are fantastic insights. It exactly goes back to where you mentioned that your philosophy is still with data and you want to make sure that change happens and uh, this kind of connects to dot pretty well. So Jitesh, thanks for that. Uh, but you know, amazing uh, insights that you've shared today. Great conversation. I can't wait for all the announcements that are coming up uh, in the near future as well. We'll keep a close tap on it. Uh, it was such an insightful conversation. And I think it kind of also gives our audience a fresh lens on where content and automation are all headed. Uh, but before we close, um, uh, where can people go learn more about the content innovation cloud and the work uh, you like your work with uh, agentic documentation processing yeah well so first highland.com is uh, the the most immediate place to go to learn more uh, right. certainly follow me and my leadership team on linkedin uh, we nice. uh, we are actively sharing our perspective with uh, with immense passion on where the industry needs to go in, in the context of data and why we are redefining content management, document processing uh, with AI. Um, and equally, and if not more so, you mentioned it, our annual user conference is in Vegas in late August. It's called right. Community Live. It's where thousands of the brightest minds in, uh, in content management and unstructured data and process and, and AI come together. And uh, we're going to have some incredible announcements in just uh, a few months. So I'd encourage you'll be there. I'd encourage everybody listening yeah. and watching uh, to join us in Vegas uh, at uh, Community Live late August. Can't wait, Jitesh. Uh, such a pleasure. And thanks for all the details. We'll make sure that our audience also kind of gets, uh, uh, you know, these links and obviously follow Jitesh. He's active on LinkedIn. He kind of does all the, you know, product announcements as well. He kind of keeps us updated. So thanks, Jitesh, for taking the time out. But uh, definitely looking forward to meeting you in person uh, late August for the community live event. Rabbit, it's always uh, it's always fun talking shop with you. Uh, great connecting again, and uh, looking forward to seeing you at Community Live. For sure. Thank you very much. Thanks, Jitesh. Thanks everyone for joining us today. Thank you.